Hey, so in this uh, tutorial, I will be covering how to format large size drawings. So the large size drawing we're going to be formatting is a D size drawing. Um, and we're going to use the pipe strap as an example. Um, what I mean by formatting, I mean adding additional views. Um, briefly talked about it in uh, the section views drawing, but I'm going to cover it again here a little bit more in depth. Um, about adding additional views and adding the views um, it should be the views of each part we're adding each part into one printout this D size printout is 24 inches by 36 inches so it's 2 feet by 3 feet it's a big sheet of paper we can fit additional views of different parts on the uh, assembly drawing so we're gonna start with uh, the plate the plate on the model tree down here on the left hand side you can see each part in the assembly the plate we want to add views for the plate so we're going to right click on this part in the model tree and we're going to set and add drawing model it now goes into the actual model itself in the model tree and now at this point because it's selected we can add a general view I will add the general view I'll just drop it here I'm going to set it to front and then uh, I'm going to leave it like that for now. Um, it's inputting the datums that I've already made because I've already created this um, drawing once before. But you're not going to probably have datums on here. You're going to have to add them in to the drawing yourself. Um, unlock the movement. So once we have the front view, let's go ahead and add a top view now. So what we're going to do, we're going to have this view selected. We're going to hit projection view at the top. So now we can create a top view above it, just like we could create a right view. I just need two views for this plate part. So I'll add the top view there. Okay. Um, the projection view, the front view becomes the parent. So as you slide the front view over, the top view will follow it. All right, let's go ahead and add another part. I'm going to have to go back to my assembly in the model tree so I would click here I'm gonna click on assembly and be make it the master rep now we're back into the assembly so we can go ahead and add the strap itself so I have it selected right click add model okay we're gonna add a general view I'll place it right there we only need a front view for this and that scale is not good I'm gonna make it larger so you can see it Okay. I can also do things like if I want to align this strap to this top view, I can right click on this strap, go to properties, alignment, I can align this to this top view, I can align it horizontally, so that it's aligned horizontally if I like. So if I pull this down and then pull this down, so does the strap, it's aligned horizontally, you can align vertically as well. Um, uh, let me just go ahead and add the last part, which is the nut. We want top view. This scale's too big. That's good enough for now. Okay. Um, at this point. You got to make sure to add in all your dimensions, show out all annotations, make sure you turn all your, your um, dimensions on, lay them out the way you need to. Um, the only other thing you're going to need to add is um, notations on each part. So we're going to go to annotate, we're going to add a note. I'm going to just place the note here. And what I mean by these notations is, so we know what we're identifying. This is part purity, part number, and this is the plate. So it's 106, 406, just so we know what we're looking at. 230, 00, 1. And then we just got to format the text. Uh, bold. 
and then make it a little bit bigger. Five. I think that's good. And you can play around with the text size if you don't like that's the text size. The idea here is uh, we're identifying what it is. Okay. And you can write out part number if you like. Um, we're also going to need to add a scale in here. And this scale, what did we set the scale to? We set this scale, it's a two to one scale. Two to one. And you're just going to place it underneath one of the views. And you're going to do the same thing to each uh, view you add, identifying what part number it goes to and its scale. Um, and then the only thing that's left is just to uh, set up the drawing like it needs to be set up. Um, that means you're adding any geometric dimensioning that you need. In addition, you're setting up the uh, dimensions, laying them out so that they're um, displayed, you know, correctly. And you're going to have to kind of play with the parts to get it all to fit right on the paper. So that means things will have to be shifted around. And again, you can use alignments. I want to align this to this horizontally. It's now centered. But you're going to add all dimensions you need. You're going to make sure you add all your uh, um, hidden and center lines you need to your part. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and uh, submit your PDF. And don't forget, because uh, some of these uh, views will be coming in um, set up differently than we should need them to be set up. So we need to go to view, um, view display, and we want to show hidden display style. That we can see our hidden lines. Properties. You display this is going to be hidden. Oh, we can see hidden lines. Make sure you do that. This display is always going to be display shading with edges as your assembly, and then your section view drawings should be displayed um, by default wireframe because it's a section view. This, uh, the one with the cut line on it, it's better not to put hidden lines because it is representing a, uh, a section of your drawing. And that's how you format large-scale drawings.